You've heard of Zoho, right? An all-inclusive business suite offering leading market tools like email marketing, CRM, booking, business emails, inventory solutions, and more. A popular tool that Zoho offers that I'm going to cover today is called Zoho Books, an easy-to-use, feature-packed, and integrated accounting and bookkeeping solution ideal for small businesses. In this video, I'll cover everything you need to know when setting up and using Zoho Books for all your accounting needs. All right, with that covered, let's jump over to my computer and dive into Zoho Books. Okay, so to get started with Zoho Books completely for free, simply head over to your browser and type in zoho.com forward slash books, and that's going to take you here, or feel free to click on the link in the description below this video, and that will also take you here. Then navigate down and click on start my free trial. Then all you need to do is add your business details and then you'll be taken inside Zoho Books. This is a quick process and what I've done is already created a fresh account. So I'll meet you inside Zoho Books. You'll also get access to a 14 day free trial of their premium plan and you can downgrade to the free plan at any time. One of the key differences between Zoho Books and other accounting tools is the completely free plan for micro businesses. And we'll talk more about this when we cover pricing later on. Now, the reason I want to cover Zoho Books on this channel is because Zoho Books is included in my top five accounting software for small businesses. Zoho Books offers everything small business owners need. It's also easy to use and they offer a completely free plan. Now, if you're interested in comparing and looking at my top five accounting software for small businesses, I will link this accounting software video review up above and down below in the description for you to check out. Again, today we'll just be focusing on Zoho Books. Okay, so once you've created a free account, you'll be taken inside your Zoho Books home. Now, before I take you through Zoho Books and get you up and running with this cloud-based accounting software, it's important to note that I'm going to navigate through Zoho Books as a small business owner from the perspective of a small business owner and not an accountant. That way, you'll see a general but relatable walkthrough of Zoho Books from the perspective of a fellow business owner. Okay, let's dive into setting up our account. The first thing that we want to do is add our organization details. Click here. And we want to navigate through some of these important settings. Now to navigate back to our dashboard, we can click here and then click on this icon. If we navigate back over to settings, that's going to take us here. Let's navigate down to taxes. And here we can add a tax rate. For example, in New Zealand, we have a tax rate called GST. So I'm going to add this tax rate in here and add the tax rate 15% and then navigate down to save. Now we also want to navigate up to organization and you want to take the time to add these details. For example, let's click on profile. Let's go ahead and add a business logo. This will be used across our account. For example, when we generate invoices or quotes, here's the logo I want to use and then go ahead and add your organization details. Add your organization details here, then click on proceed and then update new transactions and save preference. If you have a website URL, go ahead and add that down here, then hit save, then navigate up to branding. And here you can select your organization branding. I'm happy with this. We can also navigate down to users and roles, and we can add additional users to our account. Simply navigate up to invite user to add additional users to help you with your bookkeeping. You can also connect an accountant. If we navigate down here, there are other options that we'll jump back into later. However, before we start using Zoho Books, there's a few more settings that we want to cover. Jump down to online payments and click on payment gateways. Here you want to take the time to connect specific payment gateways that you use to collect payments. This allows you to streamline the process of capturing reoccurring and one-off payments. For example, when you send an invoice, you make it easy for your customers to pay you online. The more payment gateways you connect, the easier it is for your customers. Now, for the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm simply going to navigate down here and quickly connect PayPal. That way I can show you how this works on invoices. While I do that, take the time to connect these different payment gateways that you want to use. Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and connected PayPal. Take the time to connect these other payment gateways. Okay, let's navigate back to our Zoho dashboard and click on home. And just like that, we've set up our Zoho account. Now under this home tab, you'll see your dashboard. This is essentially a snapshot of your business's performance. If we navigate down here, you can see a snapshot of your total receivables as well as payables. Then if we navigate down further, we have cash flow as well as these other widgets, income and expenses, top expenses, projects, and bank and credit cards. Think of this as an overview of your business's performance. Now you can also navigate over to new dashboard and you can create a new custom dashboard. For example, let's go ahead and quickly create one and then select who has access to this dashboard. This is a private dashboard for just me and then hit save. Navigate over to predefined panels and choose the widgets that you want to add. 
I'm also going to add income and expenses as well as top expenses. Now with each of these widgets, we can simply drag and drop and place them anywhere we like on this dashboard. If we navigate over to report panels, we can also add any of these snapshots, any of these widgets. For example, sales by salesperson, I can click here, add the time period, this month, the panel name and description if I like, then click on next. Customize the chart type the way that you like and then click on save. And just like that, we now have a sales report, a sales chart. Okay, let's navigate back up and close out of this dashboard. As you can see, we now have a default dashboard as well as our custom dashboard. So take the time to build out your dashboard as you'll spend a lot of time here to quickly preview your daily, weekly or monthly performance. Now let's navigate over to banking and select connect bank slash credit card. This is where you want to take the time to connect your bank account. This allows you to automatically import bank feeds into Zoho Books. This allows for automatic reconciliation. For example, in New Zealand, I use ANZ. What I would do is connect ANZ. This means all transactions that flow through ANZ, my business account, that transaction data will also be added into Zoho Books. Again, this allows for automatic reconciliation and allows you to better balance your accounts. Now, if you cannot find your bank here under these listed accounts, you can use third-party bank feed providers. Simply click on connect now. Okay, let's navigate back over to home. Okay, so just like that, we've covered the essentials to getting started with Zoho Books. Now let's see how you can actually use Zoho Books on a daily basis. Let's first navigate down to items, click on items, and let's go ahead and add a new product or service. These are the products or services that you sell. For example, in this case, I'm going to navigate over to service and add a service type and then navigate down to unit. And depending on the product or service, you can add the unit here. I'm going to add pieces, add the selling price, then select the account type. This is sales, I'm happy with that. Then add a description if you like and add a tax. If I sell locally, this includes GST. Add the cost price, which is about 1,500 for me in terms of developer fees and marketing. Select the account, this is for purchase information. Add a description as well as a tax again. 15% GST, and then a vendor if you like. This may be important to you if you sell products. Then navigate down to save. What we can do is navigate up to edit to edit this item. You can also see transaction history for this item and then click on more and we have these different options. I'm going to quickly go ahead and clone this item because we sell three different web design packages, web design package B, and this is a more premium web design package. So I'm going to change the sales information, the selling price, as well as the cost price over here. And I'm happy with that. Again, take your time to add all your items, products, and services. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more item. Okay, so just like that, I have three items, web design package A, B, and C. Now, if I navigate up to this quick add, this allows me to quickly add specific account level items. For example, I can quickly add new users, add items, add a weekly log, time log. I can add inventory. If I navigate over to sales, I can add quotes, invoices. I can quickly create and add a new user, items. I can add inventory. I can quickly create customers, invoices, quotes, and more down here. Rather than navigating through the left-hand sidebar to locate the specific element or account level item that I want to create inside Zoho Books. Okay, let's click out of here. Hey guys, just quickly, did you know that over 90% of you that enjoy our free educational content have not yet subscribed? It would mean a lot to me if you drop a comment or hit subscribe if you love what I'm creating. This helps us grow the channel and motivates me to create bigger and more impactful tutorials for you to consume for free. Okay, so with that happy note, thank you in advance, and let's get back to the video. And now let's navigate over to sales. Here we can add our first customers. I'm going to quickly fill this out and then take you through this interface. Okay, so let's quickly navigate through this new customer. I've added the customer type, which is a business customer, the primary contact information, as well as the company name, the display name, the customer's email address, as well as phone. And then we have other optional details down here that we can add. We have the tax rate under other details, company ID, currency, accounts receivable, we'll leave that as it is, opening balance we can add, and then other information. For example, we can allow the portal access for this customer. Think about this as a simple customer portal where your customers can view all transactions they've had with your business. This can be useful if you have repeat customers. Okay, so I'm going to add this customer for now. And as you can see, we now have one logged customer. Now, the great thing about Zoho Books is that your bookkeeping software can be interconnected with other Zoho tools. For example, if you use Zoho CRM or Zoho Inventory or another Zoho product inside the Zoho ecosystem, 
These can be all integrated together. Your data will seamlessly flow between your different software. Again, here we can see all of our customers' information. Comments, transactions, email statements. We can add attachments, add new transactions, and more down here. Create new invoice quote, and we can see a snapshot of this customer's interactions with our business. Now, if we navigate back over to the left-hand side under sales, we can also quickly create quotes, invoices, sales receipts, reoccurring invoices, and add payments received, as well as credit notes. For example, let's go ahead and create an invoice. Here we can set up our transaction preferences, choose if you give discounts, select any additional charges you'd like to add, do you sell your items at rates inclusive of GST, you can select inclusive or exclusive, and then we have other options down here. When you're happy with these preferences, come down and click on save and continue. Okay, let's create our first invoice. Go ahead and add the customer name. Here is the customer's name. Then we can add other details like new address, invoice number, invoice date and information due date, which will be 28 days from now. We can add a salesperson, simply manage and add salespeople if you want down here. Add a subject and then add your items down here. I'm going to click and add this web design package a item, the service I added earlier. You can also add additional items or bulk add items. Navigate down, add customer notes if you like. Here we have the tax automatically added. You'll see shipping charges if you've added a physical item into your terms and conditions. Then navigate down to payment gateway. If you'd like to be paid online, simply add the payment gateway that you selected. Simply select the payment gateway that you added earlier. Allow the customer to make partial payments for this invoice and I have received the payment. So I'm happy with this for now. I can come down and click on save and send or I can save and print and save and send later. I'm going to select this as this is just an example invoice. Now, if we navigate over to quotes, what we can do is create this sequence. Zoho calls this a quote module. Once a quote has been generated and sent to the customer, they can either reject or if they accept the quote, that will be automatically turned into an invoice for the customer to make that payment. And adding a quote is similar to what I just showed you with creating an invoice. Okay, so as I mentioned, it's incredibly easy to add these different sales items within your account. If we navigate down to purchases, the process is similar. However, with purchases, these are payments going out. If we click on sales, this is related to payments coming into your business. Cash flow in, purchases, cash flow out. Again, we can simply add new vendors. Again, similar to adding a new customer, you can simply add your vendors details here. This could be a supplier of items that you sell. If we navigate over to expenses, you can also manually record expenses. Simply add your expense in here and make sure you select the correct account. Again, like I mentioned, it's important to connect your bank account so that you do not need to manually add expenses. You just need to reconcile. As all transactions you've made with your bank, that data will be automatically funneled into Zoho Books, meaning that you do not need to manually record expenses. Again, similar to adding invoices and quotes, you can create bills. Simply select the vendor or supplier and add the bill details. Again, this is similar to invoices, however, for money going out, this is a bill from a vendor and you can also add reoccurring bills. Okay, so now that we understand items, the products and services that we sell, as well as sales items, everything to do with cash flow coming in. We've touched on purchases, money going out, cash flow out. Let's jump into time tracking. Within Zoho Books, you can go ahead and create projects that are associated with spending. For example, let's look at the life cycle of a project. You have a customer, they start a project with you. You generate the retainer invoices. With the project, you can log time and generate the project expense. And that all goes towards the final invoice. So again, if you like, you can use time tracking to track time that you allocate towards projects and the project costs you can pass on to your customers. Now you can also use Zoho projects for this. Inside the Zoho ecosystem, you can leverage a dedicated Zoho project management tool. Or if you want to access a basic project management and time tracking tool, you can leverage that inside of Zoho Books. Now, if we navigate down to Accountant and click on Chart of Accounts, this is where you can manage all of your accounts. For example, down here we have default accounts that you can leverage. You can also click on the account and you can edit that specific account. Or if we navigate down here, click Cancel, you can also add additional accounts. For example, account type, I'm going to navigate down here and select income and add a name, affiliates. So we have affiliates that help us drive sales. So we want to record the income coming from affiliates. We can make this a sub account, account code, as well as description, and then click on save. Again, this is where you can manage all your chart of accounts. If we navigate down, we have reports. Here you can create your own report. 
custom reports, or you can leverage the system generated reports like cash flow statements. Here you can add your date range, for example, for the cash flow statement, then simply export and share with your bank as a PDF or with your accountant or with your team. And there are these other export options. Let's navigate back over to home. Okay, let's quickly take a look at the Zoho Books pricing. As I mentioned, Zoho Books offers a completely free plan, and this is ideal for home-based and micro businesses. If we navigate down here, you'll notice that you have access to many of the tools and features that small business owners need, and you can use all of these tools completely for free. Automatic bank reconciliation, enables self-service customer portals, accept online payments, and create invoices, quotes, expenses, and journals you get a lot of value in Zoho's free plan. Then as you require more features as your business grows, you can move up to the standard or professional plan. Things like reoccurring transactions, reoccurring bills and invoices, you can find on these paid plans, as well as all of these other features. If you're interested in leveraging projects and time tracking as well as inventory inside Zoho Books, then you may want to shift into the professional plan. Zoho Books grows with your business, so you can just upgrade when you need to. From my perspective, Zoho Books is one of the most value-packed and affordable accounting solutions on the market. Okay, let's jump back into our Zoho Books account and navigate up to the search bar. This is where you can search for specific customers. Let's type in Sam. Here we have Sam Smith. And that's going to take us to this specific customer. If we navigate across, click here, we can manage all our organizations. If you have multiple businesses, you can manage all those organizations down here. Again, we have the quick item, quick create. Next to this, we have notifications. Here you can see all notifications related to you. Next to notifications, we have settings. Take the time to get familiar with all of these different settings. Let's navigate back, navigate across to our profile. Here you can view your account and sign out. You can also change your subscription plan and view other helpful resources. If we click on tools in the top right hand corner, here you can leverage all Zoho apps. Maybe you want to better manage your inventory, you can leverage Zoho inventory. If you want to learn more about Zoho inventory, I will add a full Zoho inventory tutorial up above and down below in the description. Feel free to check that out. Then we have other apps down here. Again, I've created many dedicated tutorials for popular apps that Zoho offers. I will link all of these tutorials down below in the description if you're interested in diving into other apps that Zoho has to offer. Okay, let's close out of this and navigate down to extensions. Here you can add widgets that allow you to get the most out of your account. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this brief tutorial. If you're interested in a more advanced and detailed Zoho Books tutorial, please let me know down below in the comments. And there we have it for this quick Zoho Books tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about Zoho Books or any Zoho products, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.